you know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got, <laughs> we got, we got, we got a couple more beamers. We got Mark Nash coming. Mo Box, you got to show your face, man. I got to make sure that you legit, man. All right, man. All right, cool. All right, go ahead, Mark Nash. You you muted. Ahead, Absolutely. Mark. First right. and foremost, Fred, thanks for having me on. It means a lot to my audience uh -huh. to be on your channel and your panel. Um, Mr. Stewart, how you doing, sir? Uh, I'm gonna start with the love, right? We got to start with the love, but I got to Um. I was going to ask you, I think Fred was trying to ask you earlier, what does this win rank for you? And how much has your life changed since then as a trainer and a coach? Uh, this win, I would say this win ranks, I, I want to say it's tied. It's, it's got to be a tie with uh, the win Adonis Stevenson over Chad Dawson. Mm. Uh, mm. And that's just because it was my first big victory without my uncle yep. being there. I remember that fight. And, uh, and this fight just ranks up there as well because – you know, uh, that first one is, is always memorable to me. But this one is just because it's the heavyweight division. And this is where Emmanuel would have been had he been alive. So, yeah, this this ranked right up there uh, on, on this kind of stage, on this level. Donald Stevenson was light heavyweight, which I always thought was big. But I would never forget Emmanuel talking about the heavyweight division. The heavyweight division was always a special division. And, uh, you know, when I had a Donald Stevenson at light heavyweight, you know, I was thinking it's the big division. It's, it's got heavyweight in there. It's light heavyweight, but it's heavyweight still. Uh, but nothing, nothing, nothing can compete with the heavyweight division on, on, uh, on the magnitude of a big fight like that. Sold out MGM Grand, all of the whole world's watching, and then oh, uh, sure. getting a sensational knockout like like he did. Um, and has how, how has your life changed since then? Cause it is the heavyweight is and it was a big big event you unseated a champion not to mention all the controversy behind it so has your life changed any like more people hollering at you trying to get up with you are you getting more trolls now on your ig because these trolls are ruthless we all know that they, they'll find you and they'll be like your kids are ugly i'm like hey man leave my daughter alone <laughs> but um no, but what do you think though has your life changed anyway good or bad since this one I don't have any trolls or anything like that. I just I just got back on Instagram since 2017. I hadn't used it since 2017 mm -hmm. uh, when I was training with, with Charles Martin. And uh, Tyson Fury made me start using Instagram again. <laughs> so, yeah, he started making me use Instagram again, you know, uh, I guess because, uh, you know, I hadn't been on it. And he was like, why aren't you on it? Like, this is, this is for you. you. You know, we did good. So just... You know, be on Instagram. So I, I went back on Instagram and started using it. But I, I don't, I don't feel like my life has changed. I'm still the same OG. Um, <laughs> I've always got, I've always gotten, you know, calls from people wanting me to train and things like that. But, um, I, yeah, may, maybe, and it's just me guessing. Maybe it would be different if we didn't have this pandemic going on. Uh, you okay. know, so yeah, everything, everything's a lot different and changed since then. Uh, so yeah, so right now I'm still the same OG. Uh, I enjoy my, I enjoy playing golf. Still, be, and I played golf before Tyson Fury. Right? What's your handicap? What's your handicap? Uh, you know what? I normally play skin, so I don't even keep a handicap. We just play mm. a fur hole, nine hole, eighteen no, hole. Man, man, you might as well play putt putt if you're doing that. No, no, I make money off that. So no, I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I, I, like, I enjoy hitting the ball three hundred yards. Yeah, that's not easy to do. I, 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 I can't no do that. No, nah, I'm about to say, no, nah, I'm about to say, I, I can't do that. Hey, look, I um, like to the ball, and they say, dang, they say, you down there, you down, you just drove the green. I say, yeah, thanks. Now All right, well, uh, Sugar, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you a quote-unquote glove gate question, or a few if you can take them, but I, I promise um, I'm going to give you time to answer in full. I won't disrespect you and cut you off, nothing crazy, man, and I'm not going to disrespect you. I really appreciate uh you guys, the whole Stewart family and the whole Crunk Gym and what you guys have brought to boxing since I was a kid growing up, right? So we, I got, I got, I, I, could, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you. How do you change a guy who, quote unquote, has pillow fist to a knockout artist pretty much overnight? Technique. Uh, yeah, the, the, the technique was, was wrong. So it was, it was for me to go in and correct, you know, uh, a lot of basic techniques, basic fundamentals. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, I, 
I don't. I'm not that person that's gonna make everything sound so fancy and ex- extravagant. Uh, that's not me. I wasn't. I wasn't brought up that way, and I'm not trying to impress anybody either. It's just. I. I, I want to say it's basic common sense, but. Uh, yeah, it's, maybe it's just something that I see that everybody else that most people can't see. Uh, I like to key in on certain detailed things, uh, and and fighters, and there's a lot of this technique technical. Uh, Tyson Fury came to me, and one of the reasons he wanted me to train him was because he wanted to be more technical. He wanted to work Someone, on someone say he point. used a slapping technique with that left hand. And, and when you say technique, like, you mean a lineal heavyweight champion defeated Klitschko, still, I mean, he didn't have technique? Like, because people already said he was a boxer. He can move, he can shake, he had a nice jab, but something was missing in his sauce to make him put guys to sleep is what you're saying and but the, he had like a slapping motion with his glove it was like it was like it was open handing it looked, it looked kind of palming like right now. it looked just yeah, like you it was right almost now. like that and it was yeah like like that's, is that is that is that something you guys proper, teach them like proper, to blind them that's not proper punching so in in amateurs you're taught to you you they they warn you and take points away from you for slapping Mm. If you're familiar with that, so if you're not, remember amateur, they had the the white part glove right here, the white it was white. You gotta hit if with that for it to be a point. Out, if you hit with anything outside the white part, that was called slapping, and the referee will warn you. So you're supposed to be you're supposed to be taught how to punch properly as an amateur. Now everybody isn't taught properly or doesn't learn it. Well, now Tyson Fury knows how to punch properly. Okay, I'm about to wrap this up because I know other people are trying to get in. Fred, thank you again. I appreciate it. I don't take it uh, lightly. Um, camera's off. The cameras were off, getting cut off. The CCTV, as long as I've been watching boxing, I've never seen people try to cover up the CTT and camera. Do you, do you, you were there. Um, anything you want to speak on towards that, sir? Nope, because I didn't know the camera was covered. My focus wasn't on no cameras or anybody else in that room. My focus was on my fighter, Tyson Fury preparing him to go out there for one of the biggest fights in boxing history. Last question, and thank you again. Um, this is a topic I've been trying to have on my show all the time, cleaning up our sport. In 2020, we shouldn't even be having this conversation. What do you think we can do as being a person that you're in the room, you're moving and shaking, you you are a mover and shaker in the sport, and some would say you're a game changer, some would say you guys have fight of the year, Tyson should be fighter of the year. Um, some said it's between you and Tio, right? Um, but what can we do as fans? What can you do as a trainer to clean up our sport so going forward we will never have this problem again? Because it, some would say it's a it's a dark cloud over your win. Um, but hey, the victory. I tell people all the time, the record book stand, man. And you got and Vegas ain't gonna give you back your money. It's over. It's over, man. <laughs> it's over. Um, but what what can we do to clean up our sport? Uh, honestly, I, I can't really say that because things have changed and evolved so much now. Uh, back in the days, there was not this many, this many different outlets for uh, news, you know, with the social media now. So now everybody has an opinion and can voice this opinion worldwide. Before it was just, you know, major networks, newspaper, that was it. So now anybody, anybody in the world can voice their opinion strongly anywhere. And if somebody likes it, then they repost it and post it. And then things just keep going. It's just like a, you know, it's like a disease. It just keeps spreading. So I believe this is what we have now. And, um, yeah, I don't like it so much to say. And it's nothing I can do about it. So I, I don't really know how I can say how we can change it because social media is here. And I don't think it's going anywhere. Everybody walks around with a phone in their hand. They don't have conversation at tables anymore. They're on social media. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Everybody's on social media believing everything that they see on their phone as real news. Okay, well, well, I appreciate your opportunity. Um, I appreciate the opportunity for your time, um, Mr. Stewart, and thank you again, Fred, for uh, letting me come on your channel, on your panel. Salute. All right, good talking yes, to you, Mark. We got... One, two, we got three more. How's that? And then we'll close it with a 
Ho ho. Oh, no, I'm not doing so far. Am I doing okay? You sit yeah, you like, doing great. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I like the way he handles that shit. But a lot of the stuff I'm handling, like, see, because I'm a retired police officer. So being in court, I'm not going to answer a whole bunch of questions and speculating and stuff because it just opens up another whole, a whole other can of worms uh -huh. and feed off of this stuff. So for me, it's, it's I'm straight to the point. I can't answer that. 